hey guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i am going to be showing you guys how to apply tape okay how to safely and correctly apply it so this is the tape and i am also going to be going in with some alcohol i'm just going to spray it on any kind of little pad or anything and i'm going to clean the area this is going to help that tape really stick anytime you're adding any kind of adhesive or anything you want to clean off all the dirt and debris from the area first So what the tape looks like they have so many different sizes of this tape but i like this size um what i like to do is and it is double sided for you guys who do not know what tape is okay so i like to cut them in half yes i could buy the small tape but i just think that this tape lasts a lot longer sometimes i use the full strips but for the most part i love to cut them in half because everything just lasts longer and since i don't really plan on wearing these for a super long time cutting this in half just works because at the end of the day i'm going to take them off all right i like to lay it right in front of my hairline all right guys so what you want to do is try not to have too much of any spaces in between that tape all right as you can see i have very small spaces but try to lay the tape as close together as you can after you finish laying it you just go in with some tweezers i'd recommend tweezers it makes everything so much easier and you're just going to peel off that top layer okay and that is pretty much it for this step Hey guys so let's get into the bread and the butter i did not cut the lace off yet because this method of cutting your lace is pretty good just because you all you get like a really good precise cut and you're making sure that everything matches your actual hairline so if you guys could cut your lace off with your wig on i would definitely recommend it it just makes everything lays a little bit more smoothly and i don't know it just works out a bit better to me you don't have to worry about cutting the lace wrong because you know once you cut your lace it's over with I mean I ain't really no going back from that so yeah that's all I'm doing on this step All right, guys so now for the fun part i'm just going in with some scissors i tried to use this razor which is pretty good too but it's so dull it won't cut but the scissors will do just fine so um basically you're just going uh, like around your hairline and just cutting it the way your hairline shape is and that is all i'm doing Hey y'all, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. All right, so let's get into this hair, okay? So you guys have already seen me do the video on how I apply my lace tape or how to safely <laughs> apply lace tape, okay? I just feel like that is the safest method and the way that it's just always worked for me. You guys already know I got all my edges, honey. I ain't never had no problem with none of that, okay? Just as long as you lay the tape in front of your hairline, you will be fine and just make sure you're careful when you take it off. Tape is the less like I would say the least messy method to applying a wig outside of like an elastic band okay because we all know you don't need no adhesive for like an elastic band okay unless you just I guess want to add adhesive so anyways yes I hope that that helped you guys out the type of tape that I use is called walkers lace tape I get it from my local beauty supply store but you can find it on Amazon and eBay okay so 
Anywho, let's get into this hair. So this hair comes from Recool, a Recall hair company. I know I'm notorious for pronouncing things wrong. And hey, that's okay. The links will be down below and you can find out how to pronounce it yourself. <laughs> so I do have, um, I well, I did receive three bundles in a ear-to-ear -ear frontal. I did not bleach my frontal. Um, I only went in and plucked my frontal a little bit because the frontal was already plucked um pretty good actually okay sometimes i get frontals that are just straight across and not plucked at all sometimes i get frontals that are like just plucked in the front or something this frontal was plucked you know from ear to ear so you it already started you with kind of like a pre-pluck i love frontals like that it just eases up the work on me i don't have to do as much y'all know i don't like to do a lot i'm lazy hey sorry so yeah it was the work was already done so all I did was, like I said, I just went in and kind of customized, customized it just a little bit to my hairline, okay? Like, I didn't do just like a whole lot. I just, you know, pluck, pluck here, pluck, pluck there, and then when we're done, I try to lay a few baby hairs, child. Of course, it is optional. Um, so yeah, this is what the hair looks like. Now, this hair, I've noticed, has a yakky type feel in a yakky type texture i'm going to say this now this hair would be great for sew-ins or if you're planning on having leave out and things like that because it has like the i don't know like the yakky type it's not like real silky and i know a lot of times when we tend to we wear sew-ins or we want to have some of our hair out we don't want a really really silky texture because a lot of our hair isn't just silky silky like that and this hair isn't like that. It's It has, like I said, it's a little yakiness to it. And the bundles did come really thick. All I used was two bundles in the frontal. And I believe that I received, I think I received a 20, a 22, and a 24. Okay, and I think the only thing I used was the 24 and the 22. So I will have the, the exact links down below. But I only used two bundles in the frontal. That was all I needed. Because the bundles were really thick all right so this is what we are looking like i am five seven and well this y'all can't see but it the these bundles fall past my boobs or whatever and like i say i'm five seven so that's pretty long so if you like long hair this will definitely will definitely be the hair for you so that is what it is looking like now i know y'all like Aaron. you should know you try to curl your hair or whatever those little poor curls no actually i had this hair just popping okay i had curls all through it it was tight curls the curls actually fell so what you want to do is if you're going to curl this hair because it's not at this point it's not good at holding curls you need to go in with some kind of holding spray some kind of spritz some kind of got to be you need to go in with something. So you need to go in with something, all right, if you plan on curling this hair. Some. <laughs> some that's going to hold it or curl your whole head and then go in with some kind of holding spray to just make sure the uh, curls stay intact because mine definitely fail. All right, so I'm, I'm left with like little loose waves, which are okay too. I enjoy loose waves, but it's not exactly the look that I was going for. So yeah, keep that in mind. Another thing, if y'all can kind of see, I'm receiving some frizz. All right, which that ain't real cool. So you want to make sure that if you get this hair, you give it a good, good deep condition. All right, so give it a good deep condition and get you some kind of frizz ease or some kind of serum that will kind of subside that frizz a little bit. All right, so you won't be walking around looking like you know you've been in some kind of storm or something. It is raining outside, but still, this is this is a little bit much frizz all right so um would i recommend the hair i am going to give it a in the middle okay so the prices are reasonable okay prices are reasonable the bundles are pretty thick the shipping was fast the customer service is really good they're nice so i would say give it a try give it a try if you can if you could just give it a look go on there you know weigh out your options <laughs> you know this these are just my opinions and my experience not to say that you're going to have the same experience or the same you know just if, if things are going to be the same you know what i'm saying so you know take my opinion with a grain of salt i tell you guys that in every single video we're two different people we don't care for hair the same you know we don't use the same products 
we don't it's a lot of things we're, we're very different so just because I have an opinion on something yours may differ okay and that's all I'm saying so uh, links and everything for this hair will be down below um, let me know what you guys think about about it also do you guys use tape why or why not have you been wanting to try tape does tape work with your skin you know just let me know your thoughts about just tape in general have you tried this hair will you be trying this hair what do you think about this hair and yeah leave it down below oh yeah and i do have body waves this did come in a body wave texture i don't think i mentioned that or whatever but this did come in a body wave texture so yeah anyways that's it yeah and i'll see you next time